New at noon last summer, several statues were either knocked down or removed from around the Richmond area. And this morning, officials removed the Harry F. Byrd statue from Capitol Square. CBS 6's Caroline Colburn joins us now live to explain the former governor's impact on Virginia's history and why one state lawmaker says it's time for a change. Caroline. Well, Rob, segregationist governor and Senator Harry F. Byrd coined the term massive resistance during the desegregation of Virginia schools. And Delegate Jay Jones of Norfolk, who's led the way for the statue's removal, says today is a new day in Virginia. Today is but another step in our journey to tell our true history. 45 years, that's how long the bronze statue of Harry F. Byrd has stood tall over Virginia's Capitol Square. But Wednesday morning, contractors brought it down. It's certainly surreal for me. Delegate Jay Jones of Norfolk proposed the bill the General Assembly passed earlier this year, allowing for the statue's removal. My father was denied entry to an elementary school a mile away from where he grew up because of Harry Bird's policies. I came here as a child for field trips. My father was a member of the General Assembly uh, and having to walk by that with him. And I asked him, who is this man? And he choked up a little bit, knowing that that man didn't want him to go to school uh, in the public school system here in Virginia. But the decision to remove the statue of the segregationist wasn't unanimous. It passed the House by a vote of 63 to 34 and the Senate 36 to 3. We talk about embracing diversity and, and we really have to put our kind of our money where our mouths are uh, and, and do the right thing. Governor Ralph Northam came out to watch the 10 foot statue being lifted from its pedestal. Both will be moved to an off site storage location until the General Assembly decides what to do with them. Capitol Square belongs to the people of Virginia. Those that come and visit them, so we'll have discussions. Whatever we do, we want to begin to embrace the diversity. And while the statue is being removed, Delegate Jones wants to make it clear he and his Democratic colleagues don't want to erase history. I gave a speech a couple of years ago about there being two Virginias. I think this is a big part of that. Uh, and if we can contextualize that, if we want to put it somewhere else, I think that's important. But Jones says he's thankful the statue that he says represented resistance will no longer stand in a public space. When we tell our stories, we want to make sure we're telling the whole story, and that's what's most important here. Now, Delegate Jones says he and members of the Black Caucus believe removing statues like this one is a start to making sure everyone feels welcome in the Commonwealth. But he says there's still much more work to be done, including tackling justice reform and equity in the housing and health care systems. Working for you in Richmond, Caroline Colburn, CBS 6 News.